light, those are your lighter. Alphabet's Waymo has launched a significant development in its costly decade-long quest for autonomous transportation, self-driving taxis that actually generate fares. With little fanfare, the company has begun charging passengers to use its driverless vehicles in a roughly 100-mile zone in four Phoenix suburbs where it has been testing its technology since 2016. Producing revenue is a strategic milestone, putting Waymo ahead of U.S. rivals, which have yet to launch their own paid self-driving services. All are racing to win customers and recoup billions spent developing the technology. To use the service dubbed Waymo One, riders must download an app and provide a credit card number. A human driver will be behind the wheel, but only to intervene in case of emergency. I mean, my, the, the best thing for me was that first ride. Uh, get in, sit down, and, and watch the steering wheel turn on its own. And, and you know, it's, it's big grin on my face the entire time. Look at the safety driver, realize they're, they're not driving the car, the car is driving. And that's just the coolest thing in the world. I had a big goofy grin my first whole ride. And I've spoken with many people as a Lyft driver over the last year. Many people are in, they are totally against self-driving vehicles because what's going to end up happening is you're going to have a lot of individuals who aren't going to know how to physically drive the vehicle so all this is going to do is slowly indoctrinate individuals into believing that they can trust their vehicles 100 percent uh, there's a reason why airline pilots train tirelessly in flight simulators so they know how to actually fly the plane in case their um, their automated pilot sequences fail <laughs> are closing. What's he waiting for? Uh, that pedestrian. Major challenges remained starting with technical hurdles. A Waymo One taxi tested proved slow and jerky at times. Whether customers will continue using the service once the novelty wears off remains to be seen. Regulations governing the industry across the country are an incoherent patchwork, a significant hurdle to fast expansion. There's, there's, no, there's no hindrance that, I, that I've noticed. They, uh, they keep with the speed of traffic. Uh, they, uh, they seem to know where they're going. Uh, there's always someone inside of them, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, they stop when they should, and they go when they should, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't have any problem with them. Connected to rider support. Who's light? Those are your lighter. Waymo would not say exactly how many of its cars will be on the road in Arizona, but it said its around-the-clock service initially will be limited to hundreds of people invited to sign up last year. The company has been testing its driverless cars for a decade. Its fleet now, numbering 600 vehicles, has logged more than 10 million miles on public roads in and around 25 U.S. cities. Alphabet does not disclose its total investment, but industry experts put that sum at well over $1 billion.